Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very interesting question from quadratic equations. We are going to calculate the real values of a for which x is integer. Equation is x square plus ax plus 5a equal to 0. So let's get it started by writing our quadratic equation first. x square plus ax plus 5a equal to 0. Let's assume roots of this quadratic equation are alpha and beta. So using Vita's method or Vita's theorem, we can write sum of roots equation and we can write product of roots equation. So sum of roots equal to minus of coefficient of x over coefficient of x square, I can write minus a. Product of roots will be equal to constant over coefficient of x square, so I can write here 5a, 5a over 1. So 5a. Now from our first equation, from this equation, I will calculate the value of a which will be equal to minus alpha minus beta and this value we are going to apply here. So I can write alpha beta will be equal to 5 times minus alpha minus beta. Or we can write alpha beta equal to minus 5 alpha minus 5 beta. Take all the terms to LHS. So we will write alpha beta plus 5 alpha plus 5 beta equal to 0. Now we are going to factor LHS. So I will take alpha common from first two terms. Let me write equation alpha beta plus 5 alpha plus 5 beta equal to 0. Now we are going to take alpha common from these two terms. We will get in the bracket beta plus 5. Then we have 5 beta. Now here we have beta plus 5. So I will add here 25 in LHS. So I need to write 25 in RHS also. If I will take 5 common from here, I will retain the same bracket beta plus 5. So I will write alpha times beta plus 5 plus 5 is common. In bracket, we will write beta plus 5 equal to RHS 25. Now beta plus 5 is common from LHS. We will get alpha plus 5 times beta plus 5 equal to 25. Now alpha and beta are integers. So we can say alpha plus 5 and beta plus 5 would be integers. Now we can use prime factorization of 25 or factorization of 25 to find out these product equal to 25. So I can consider first case 1, 25. If we will multiply 1 with 25, we will get product 25. If we will consider alpha plus 5 equal to 25 and beta plus 5 equal to 1, we are going to get product 25. Third case, we will consider both the brackets 5. If we will multiply, we will get product 25. Fourth case, if both the numbers are negative numbers, minus 1 times minus 25, product will be still plus 25. Similarly, minus 25 times minus 1 will give us product 25. And last case is minus 5 times minus 5 will produce product 25. Now it is given that roots should be distinct. But for 
फाइव एंड फाइव केस एंड फॉर माइनस फाइव एंड माइनस फाइव केस वी वोट गेट रूट डिस्टिंक्ट अल्फा प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू फाइव बीटा प्लस फाइव इक्वल टू फाइव सो अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो बीटा इक्वल टू जीरो बोथ वैल्यूज आर सेम वी विल रिजेक्ट दिस केस एंड फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस फाइव फॉर ईच ब्रैकेट विल गेट अल्फा बीटा सेम सो ओनली फोर केसेज आर एक्सेप्टेबल वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वन माइनस वन एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड माइनस वन so i will create here one column alpha plus 5 second column beta plus 5 then we will calculate alpha then we will calculate beta and then we know a in terms of alpha and beta we will be able to find out real values of a so i will write alpha plus 5 and beta plus 5 column So if I will write all four cases, so one twenty five, twenty five one, negative one, negative twenty five, and negative twenty five, negative one. Now this column is known alpha plus five. We have to calculate alpha. So we will take away five from. our first column alpha plus 5 alpha plus 5 minus 5 is alpha so we'll write here 1 minus 5 we'll write minus 4 25 minus 5 we'll write here 20 minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 minus 25 minus 5 minus 30 now we have to calculate beta and we will take away or subtract 5 from this column beta plus 5 minus 5 equal to beta so 25 minus 5 20 1 5 4 25 5 30 1 5 6 now we are going to calculate real values of a which are 20 minus 4 16 revert the sign we will get minus 16 we have to add these two and then revert the sign so 20 minus 4 this is the addition alpha plus beta value is 16 revert the sign minus 16 similarly for second row 20 and minus 4 we will add both 16 revert the sign minus 16 Minus six minus thirty minus thirty six is the addition. Revert the sign thirty six. Minus thirty minus six minus thirty six. Revert the sign thirty six. So we are having two real a values or two a values, sixteen and thirty six. So I will write here a is equal to sixteen with negative sign and thirty six. now we are going to calculate roots it should be integer so i will write our first equation x square plus ax plus 5a equal to 0 so for a equal to negative 16 i will write quadratic it would be x square minus 16x Plus five times minus sixteen equal to zero, or I will write x square minus sixteen x minus eighty equal to zero. Now we can use method of factorization or completing the square method. So I will take minus eighty to the RHS. We'll write here x square minus sixteen x, and then we will write Plus 80 in the RHS. Now I will add 64 to both sides. Plus 64. So we will add 64 in RHS also. Now LHS is x minus 8 whole square. And RHS is 144. 
this will be equal to 12 square so i can write x minus 8 equal to plus minus 12 once i will take a square root both sides so i will write here x equal to 8 plus minus 12 so with plus sign we will get 8 plus 12 with minus sign we will get 8 minus 12 so i can see here our first root for a equal to negative 16 is 20 and second root is minus 4 so we can find here roots also 20 and negative 4 and a is minus 16 now we will consider a equal to 36 which we are going to apply here so i will write x square plus 36 times x plus 5 times 36 equal to 0 or i can write x square plus 36 x 5 times 36 is 180 equal to 0 now i can see the factors of 180 30 times 6 addition of both will give us 36 so i will use factorization method x square plus 30x plus 6x plus 180 equal to 0 now from first two terms we can take x common so we'll be getting x plus 30 in the bracket from last two terms we can take 6 common out so we will get x plus 30 in the bracket equal to 0 so from here we will get factorization x plus 30 times x plus 6 equal to 0 using product 0 rule we will find our roots so i will write either x plus 30 equal to 0 or x plus 6 equal to 0 so from our first equation we will get x equal to negative 30 and from second equation we will get x equal to negative 6 so we have our final answer for a equal to negative 16 we have two roots I will write x1 equal to negative 4 and x2 equal to 20 for a minus 16 and for a equal to 36 we have two roots first root is we have written here minus 30 and second root is minus 6 I hope friends you will like this video Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.